Welcome back guys to a new video. Now today I'm going to be talking about some brand new extinction news we have found out about and also about the new game modes that are going to be coming with this extinction DLC also. As time goes on, we seem to be finding out more and more information about Extinction and it's just so annoying that it is going to be released November the 6th because I just want to play it right now and I know it's not too long away, it's just that I cannot wait to be bringing you guys so much new content once the Extinction DLC does come out and sort of do my how to spawn in videos and all of that again, it will just be so much fun. Now, as always, if you guys do enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Thank you for, you know, just for all the support on the channel, guys. It means so much to me. As you know, we did hit 110k already after hitting 100k last month, and we're already closing in on 111k. I know people are going to be like, why are you talking about 1k? But seriously, every subscriber just means the world to me, and just thank you to everyone supporting. But anyway, let's just get straight in with the news. Now, bear in mind, guys, there might be some stuff in this that you could have heard about before, but this is more up-to-date information about Extinction. You know, just, it's sort of everything put, put together, but some of this stuff sounds absolutely awesome. So, Ark Survival Evolved's latest expansion, Extinction, takes us to Earth after exploring the prehistoric paradise of the island, scorched Earth's vast and hostile deserts, and not forgetting the unstable um, caverns and stuff of um, Aberration. We'll finally be able to see what the condition of the Earth is in. Given that the previous expansions for Ark Survival Evolved have covered a wealth of genre, uh, genres, sorry guys, um, including sci-fi horror, sci-fi fantasy, the biggest question is how the developer studio Wildcard has de decided to warp out our home planet. And basically, there's just some more information that they've said and, you know, that we're going to be talking about as well as talking about the new game modes later on. It's still got sci-fi roots, but it's kind of a ruined world in the sense of that natural life is taking over and taking its own turn. Jesse, the co-founder of Studio Wildcard, explains there's a lot left behind uh, there by civilization, but that doesn't seem to be present anymore. So, what it sounds like with Extinction is that the world of, um, there's still going to be their sci-fi elements in there, which is the sense of um, how there's like the Enforcer, you know, loads of tech stuff is going to be in with this, um, um, this like sort of new DLC coming out. And that's what the big debate that everyone was talking about, is it going to be too tech and stuff like that? But really, it is actually going to be a lot of, you know, it's not just going to be all tech, it's going to be like balanced. And this is what people um, didn't really understand when they saw the trailer, but don't worry guys, it isn't as tech as you're gonna think it is and I still think that's awesome to have like a little bit of you know some new stuff in there and have it like 50 50 in a way because then it's exciting some new stuff for us to play around with in the game so the development team promised that extinction will be a satisfying payoff and a satisfying climax to the arc storyline the idea is to give the community uh, like to give the community answers to several questions that may have been left um, after previous expansions. That means we'll finally find out the origin of the creatures we've got used to fighting and taming while, purp that while the purpose of the arcs that have appeared across the expansions will be revealed. So we're going to be finding out where these creatures have come from, why we've been taming them, what's been the whole idea behind it. And to be honest, I kind of know a little bit of a backstory on it, um, which I, some of you guys may know as well. It's basically we were sent to the um, we were sent to the Ark to prove ourselves as like a survivor that can fight against all of this stuff and like be the winning survivor to end up fighting and proving that you know he's a strong enough survivor to move on into the future i don't i don't really know the whole story and if you guys want to explain a little bit of a story you may know about the background of arc survival evolved let me know in the comment section down below but the you know the basic story i know about this is that as a survivor you are sent to the arc to try your best to prove that you're strong enough to fight and you know end off being successful in the future as the strongest survivor basically so that's probably how it's going to end off later on um, and you've basically got to fight the final boss and everything like that extinction will feature a combination of new and returning biomes we already know about these two areas including a location known as no man's land and a city environment where we'll begin this new story 
So there's two no there's two new locations we know about so far, which is no man's land and a city, which is what you will see in the trailer. You guys will see the trailer in the background of the video, as I usually have been putting the trailer in like most videos, just because I want to keep the hype of extinction up so much because I'm looking forward to it. Loads and loads and loads. So no man's lands in particular offers a new and interesting play possibilities with the material element playing a huge role in uh, introducing these experiences. This material will corrupt non-aggressive dinosaurs, altering their behavior dramatically and making them act as a, you know, a, you know, making them act crazy, basically. You'll also encounter harvestable element veins out in No Man's Land, leading to mini events the team describes as being similar to tower defense or waved base shooters. So that was what I was talking to you guys about in um, at the start of the video. We will actually be seeing game modes within the DLC. So currently the game modes aren't going to be like um, separate. So let's say there's like a Survival of Fittest Battle Royale in Ark Survival Evolved. And they decide to do that in the future or something. That would usually come under like some sort of separate game mode you can play or whatever. That's how it's usually working on the PC. But in the actual DLC... There will be a mini events that will happen most likely on official servers and single player and you've got to build up and fight off waves of different things that attack you. So I reckon this will be awesome on servers because you and your friends can join up together and, and apparently there's going to be ways that not just you and your friends can join together to fight these waves of dinosaurs and creatures and robots and stuff. But many other tribes at the same time will come and join you on these adventures, which leads on to you guys actually joining together and teaming up with other tribes you may not have met before or you know about in the server and fighting against these waves of dinosaurs to win for a reward. Now, I don't, uh, like, there's always a chance that you could be fighting with a tribe and they seem friendly and stuff and you end up fighting off and getting the reward and they could still end up just trying to fight, uh, fight against you and, like, betray you and stuff and take the reward for their own tribe. So, that's probably what's going to happen quite a lot. So, make sure to watch out for that when you do play the Extinction DLC. You've got to be careful with who you trust and who you don't. Um, so, watch out for that. But I'm so excited to have some sort of tower defense wave-based shooter in the game. Because I think this will lift excitement, even playing on single player as well. Because, like, I feel like that's what we've been missing. Game modes in Ark Survival Evol Evolve. Something different from the normal survival aspect of it. It is still survival, but I mean, like... The normal art game we played for so long is literally just like, you know, building up, um, getting your, you know, materials and everything like that and building a world, taming dinosaurs. But having a new game mode in between the game, you know, tower defense, wave based shooters will be absolutely fantastic. Anyway, moving on to the next stuff. So nearby and corrupt dinos who have element um, integrated into them will be drawn to, the, to this to consume it and become stronger. Chris, the lead programmer on Ark Extinction, says um, players will also be drawn to it because Element is a powerful res a resource in the game, both to power uh, bo both to power previous items and things that we have in the game, as well as a bunch of new things. So Element is still going to play the same role as you know it powers all the tech weapons, it powers all the tech items and whatever, whatever stuff like that um, and machines. But it also will be have a play a bigger role in this Extinction DLC because use them as, you know, to transport them, to sell to other people. So let's say you tame up a decent, like, level 200 and something Rex and then, you know, someone wants to buy that for you for a certain amount of, um, you know, items in the game. Let's say, like, um, I don't know, a bunch of metal for this dino and you can use it, you can freeze it down and that's mostly powered by Element. But Element's going to play a role in the game which actually like draws dinos and draws even like you know like survivors in the game to it to have this tower defense of wave based shooter in addition to corrupt dinos there will be a whole new range of creatures to discover i've talked about these in my videos anyway if you haven't seen the all the dinos um, and creatures coming to uh, the game in 2018 watch that because there's going to be the titans which are the huge um you know the huge mini bosses in the game um there's going to be, and they can also be t uh, be tamed there's going to be the um the the final boss um there'll also be new explorer notes and ca caves to find at your own pace and stuff uh, we've got the enforcer We've got, um, you know, the new drone and loads of different things like that. The gas bag. I didn't want to talk too much in information about these dinos and creatures and stuff because I've covered that in the other video, as I did say. Um, so, more, more, more really to talk to you guys about, to be honest. Um, there's... 
with with extinction right now that's the main bit of information at the moment you know there's a bit more information here about the cryo chamber where you can freeze dinosaurs put them in your inventory meaning you can carry and trade them and stuff with other players just to let you know when you do that they will end up if you just leave them for so long they will end up spoiling um if you if you freeze freeze your dinosaurs so don't forget about them don't think once you freeze them they're fine they will spoil i don't know if it will work putting them in the refrigerator that could potentially give it a um a, you know a longer time and what I can actually see coming from this DLC, which is what I'm really excited about, is the idea of people actually setting up shops and people can come over and there's like refrigerators set up and stuff and they've got their dinos frozen, they've got a cryo chamber there and everything, you know, and people can come over and buy dinos. The only thing you could see happening so much there is someone sets up a shop, it's a successful shop on a server, and then overcomes a huge tribe and is like, thank you, they're all my dinos, and they, you know he'll just take whatever without paying. So that is going to be interesting to see how that does work in game. So uh, we'll find out about that later. But it sort of brings more of a role-playing side to Ark uh, with this, which is what I love. I think you know it, it gets you more into the game, and I'm really, really looking forward to that. So really the rest of the information is just in the meanwhile you can jump into Ark Survival Evolves um, Expansion Scorched Earth Aberration um, and just look at, you know, just build yourselves up ready for it. You know, there's, um, you know, Ark Chronicles is like going through all the different arcs and stuff, preparing yourself for um, Extinction. I kind of feel like they're just doing that because they want time to, you know, they want enough time to be able to build this and they don't want to just release it next week because it wouldn't be finished properly. And at the end of the day, I've always supported the idea of, um, you know, not releasing something straight away. I didn't know how to say it. That sort of lost it on the spot. But I mean, like, it's. I always find it's best to release something when it's perfect. You know, instead of just being like, I want it now. It's best. I know some of you guys are upset about the date of it, November the sixth. But waiting longer is going to be perfect. It's going to work out better for the game. So I cannot wait. Now, if you guys did enjoy today's video and you did get all the new news from Extinction as well as these awesome new game modes coming, drop a like on today's video, subscribe if you're new, and have those notifications turned on because you will never miss out on a video if YouTube sometimes randomly doesn't have it in uh, my video in your sub box. But anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later.